In this video, you will learn how to perform vacuum filtration to separate a solid liquid mixture using a Hirsch funnel. Using vacuum filtration, the liquid particle solution, called the filtrate, is forced through the filter paper using suction, leaving the solid, also called the precipitate, in the funnel. Your vacuum filtration system is made up of three main parts, the Hirsch funnel on top, the 50 milliliter filter flask, which holds your filtrate, and the vacuum hose. To set up your vacuum filtration system, first place your Hirsch funnel and the rubber stopper securely into the top of the filter flask. Before you attach your vacuum tubing, you should secure your filter flask to the support stand on your bench using a two-prong clamp. This is to make sure your flask stays in place when filtering. Next, take your vacuum tubing and attach one end to the yellow vacuum tap, and the other end to the stem of the filter flask. Be sure to attach the tubing to the correct tap, as you do not want to attach it to the water or the gas lines. You are now ready to start the vacuum filtration process. Turn on the vacuum tap and check your setup to make sure everything is airtight. Now place your 1.5 cm filter paper in the Hirsch funnel. Before you begin, make sure to wet your filter paper with a few drops of whatever solvent you are using for that experiment. This will create a seal between the filter paper and the funnel. If you skip this step, you may lose some of your solid under the filter paper. Now you can start adding your solution. Shake your vial first, and then pour the contents onto the center of the filter paper. Try to get as much of your solid onto the filter paper as you can. You can rinse your container with your solvent a few times to remove any residual particles. You may also need to rinse the Hirsch funnel itself with multiple solvents, depending on what you're using in your experiment. Leave the vacuum filtration system running for a few minutes until your precipitate is dry. Once your filtrate has completely drained into the filter flask, turn off the vacuum tap and remove the tubing from the tap. To remove your sample, take the Hirsch funnel off of the filter flask and then use forceps to slide the filter paper onto a clean, dry watch glass. When finished, dump your filtrate into the liquid waste bucket and thoroughly clean your Hirsch funnel and filter flask. When done, return it to the student assistant in the prep room before you leave. You should now have a good understanding of how to use a Hirsch funnel for vacuum filtration. Good luck and have fun filtering solid liquid mixtures in your chemistry lab.